Well, four hotel parking lots are targeted by vandals and thieves overnight. Terry police say dozens of cars were broken into all across the city. CBS 17's Haley Fixler is live at the Hilton Garden Inn. And Haley, are any of these things connected? Well, that's something that Cary police are trying to figure out right now. And I do want to show you three out of the more than seven cars that we found just in this parking lot that had been damaged. You can see that sedan here has a black trash bag covering the rear passenger door. And then right next to it, that is the silver truck that we showed you in the last hour. And three windows total have been broken in from that truck. And then right across the parking lot, another truck has a window broken through. And now dozens of people all across Cary are picking up the pieces. There's no glass in these car windows, and if you look a little closer, you can see shattered remnants on the ground, inside the cars, and even the window wells. Sometimes we see this happening with um, blunt objects like a hammer. Uh, sometimes they'll pick up a rock or brick. Uh, each case is different. This case, definitely a different one for Cary police. Usually they deal with car break-ins involving unlocked cars. But overnight Tuesday, parking lots at four different hotels had dozens of cars smashed into. Still looking to see if there is a common link between uh, one or multiple locations. Sergeant Kenrick Alexander says the Sinesta Select near RDU, the Umstead Hotel, the Hampton Inn off of I-40, and the Hilton Garden Inn near Crossroads Boulevard were all hit. We counted over 10 cars that were damaged, but some people say they moved their cars out of the parking lots. Police say they don't have an exact number of cars impacted. There very well could be more vehicles that we just yeah. don't know about because the owners haven't, haven't found them. Not all of the cars had items taken from inside, but police want you to be prepared and to protect yourself. Any place in which a large number of people is parking in one general location, uh, that's where we typically see it. So if you have to visit a hotel, if you have to go to a sporting event, uh, Take a moment and just double check to make sure that nothing is visible, that everything is, is hidden. Sergeant Alexander also says you should park close to buildings and in well-lit areas. Investigators are working to get a hold of surveillance video. Live in Cary, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News.